Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your August 2020 intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Scorpion, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Um, this is from like August to September, or whenever you whenever you view it is whenever you're supposed to see it, right? Readings are sort of timeless anyway. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you're interested in a personal reading, info is in the description box below. And don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this video resonates with you. All right, Scorpio, let's get to it. I'm going to be clarifying with the black and gold tarot deck. So in the center trinity, we have... Six of Swords, Emperor, and the Nine of Wands. So I'm feeling that you're moving away from something, Scorpio. Some of you could literally be moving. And it's interesting because Spirit told me that this Empress is you, but this Empress is also somebody you're moving away from. So it could be a divine counterpart. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I just feel like you're a lot alike that's what i'm feeling so it could be a taurus or a libra but you're moving away from a relationship with this person that's what i'm feeling the nine of wands you're a little bit defensive about this okay we're going to clarify in a moment and see what is up here tell me about the six of swords what do you yeah definitely could be a libra that you're moving away from this is all karma this could be a twin as well. I told you you're a lot alike here. Four of Swords. Yeah. You're moving away and you're also healing from this energy. And it's interesting because you've got the Four of Swords um, in another trinity over here. So you're piecing out after you moved away. And you're really going within. You're trying to find peace. Because I don't feel that you found peace with this person. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Cups, you're walking away. And you've got your walls up because you don't want to get hurt again. Not sure what this person did, but, you know, every relationship we have when it ends, you know, there's always hurt on both sides. So whatever you're hurting from, you're healing from, you're trying to find that peace and this is why you decided to walk away because you couldn't find your balance and this was karma for the other individual like i think this is good karma for you believe it or not but for the other individual not so much so as we continue on to the psych the psychological portion of the reading this goes a little bit deeper into what's going on in your energy and talks a little bit more about it right so we have the king of pentacles in the center scorpio we have the prince of cups to the left and we have the four of pentacles to the right so we have earth energy and water energy so it's getting a little muddy over here but you could have earth energy in your chart taurus virgo capricorn I feel like you held back from this person because I don't feel that you received what you were giving or I feel that it just played out differently than what you had hoped for. So right now you're concentrating on building your foundation and building your pentacles. So you held back love um, and you held back money. That's what this is saying. You could be, you could have hung on to your money. Let's clarify. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you started this before you left. Whatever you're working on, it, this was something that you wanted to manifest. So you didn't say anything to this other individual. And you listened to your intuition on this, which is good. Gemini Pisces energy. Yeah, you felt like if you held back, and this is information that you held back regarding um, regarding money. So not so much money, but holding back of information regarding money. 
so I feel like you felt victorious over this with the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands again. This is Leo energy. Yeah, there you realize that there are a lot of options out there and you wanted to take part in it. You, you, this was something that you dreamed of, right? And for some reason you couldn't achieve these dreams within this relationship. Tell me about the Prince of Cups. Why did you hold back? Yeah, see, you didn't accept their cup. It was like you knew you were done. You knew you were done. This relationship came to an end. One more card on, on just why. Ten of Pentacles. I, I feel like you want to be abundant on your own. You want family, marriage. Um, and, I, and I don't feel that this person wasn't willing to give you family or marriage, but I don't know, something about you trying to achieve this on your own is screaming out here, right? And money, again, I feel that it has to do a lot with money. So as we continue on, which is interesting, to your future, okay, we have the Nine of Cups in the center. We have the Ten of Pentacles again to the left and the Eight of Wands to the right. So again, we have Earth and Water and now we have Fire. So you're really wanting your wishes to come true. You're you're sort of being selfish right now, which is good. You're focusing on you. You want to build a legacy. You want to build something for yourself. You want to feel that independence. You want to feel that completion I'm feeling. There's, there's some sort of completion that you're wanting as it relates to money and building of a legacy, possibly a business. If it's not a business, it's definitely your career and something you're passionate about, but you're also desiring passion uh, in a relationship. And this may come along right now in this section with the Eight of Wands. It could be somebody at a distance, right? Because the Six of Swords in the center is your energy. And this is screaming distance. So you may be leaving this person for somebody at a distance. Because I'm hearing messages. So you may have been messaging this person. Email, texting. Okay. So tell me about this Nine of Cups. Yeah. You've decided where you want to invest your time and energy in, right? And you decided that this person is worth it. Tell me about, yep, the eight of, the eight of wands is the two of cups. So it's a soulmate twin flame energy here. Tell me about the ten of pentacles. Tell me about the ten of pentacles. Yeah, this is def this is a soulmate. Soulmate. Past life soulmate, definitely. And you feel this and you like it. You like it. You like the feeling. So I feel like if this, because this possibly could have been a, a twin to begin with, right? Twin flame energy is different than soulmate. But soulmate is, mm, I guess you could say, I want to say easier in the sense that it just flows very much. It's not as challenging as a twin flame because, you know, twin flame is, is meant for major, major expansion, right? And that can be challenging through the journey. You don't have to be with a twin on a romantic level. That's not like written in stone, right? So if you choose to be with a soulmate, we have many soulmates, then this is who you choose to be with. And there is growth and expansion with a soulmate. It's just different, right? And remember, even if you're not with your twin, you're always going to be with them in the fifth dimension. So that, that you can't get away from, can't cut the card on that. If it's a twin, you'll know if it's a twin because you'll have had supernatural experiences with this individual. Okay, so this person, tell me a little bit about this person. Could be a Gemini with the magician card here, but they want to manifest sincerely with you. They want to manifest love and money with you. 
They want to do it all. And they feel more powerful when they're with you, they're saying. Much more powerful. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting this very giddy child. This is what I'm feeling, the Six of Cups. This very childlike innocence with love. And I love this energy. I absolutely love this energy. Especially paired with the Magician. The Magician's my favorite card. Six of Cups could be a close second. Because I just love the energy. There's just appreciation written all over it. Strength card. Okay. So this is clarifying the Ace of Cups over here. Oh, I didn't even... Following to your next uh, trinity, this is still your future. So you have the Ace of Cups in the center. You have the Seven of Cups to the left. Water. This is all water energy. This is all you, Scorpio, in the Ten of Cups to the right. So there is a hella emotion here. This is self-love. This is new love. This is this person over here. And you're sort of needing to be strong to really be vulnerable with this person, but you do. I do feel you open up totally. Emotional vulnerability here with this person, definitely. This is your dream come true. Now, I'm seeing the dream come true in the Seven of Cups, right? And it's almost like you felt this coming because remember, you had the Seven of Cups in your psychology over here and you're very intuitive. So I feel like you knew, uh, you just felt it. You felt it. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me more. The Ace of Cups and the Strength card. Why is the Strength card here? Why is the Strength card here? Mm, seven of Wands. Okay. So with the Seven of Cups as well, right? You have a lot of Sevens here. So you definitely have a divine connection, Scorpio. Not surprising. So you may have more than one option, right? So I feel that you need strength and you need to, you know, sort of fight them off with a stick possibly because you really want this individual over here. So you're trying to be strong, much like... What was the last reading I just did? Aries? Yeah, I'm sort of getting that same feel where you're having to, to, to see what's coming at you because you have to be strong and, and not give in to temptation, so to speak. I don't think you will because I think you want this too much. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Yeah. See, this is the other part of strength. You need to heal. You're still healing from this center energy. And you just want your emotional fulfillment. You don't want to be brokenhearted again. The moon card. So you really have to look within. You really have to pay attention in your dream space. Pay attention to your intuition. Yeah. Because this is where your happiness is going to stem from. This healing. You could be doing some healing in the dreamland state. Okay. Okay. This is emotional vulnerability. And you know you can't fully be emotionally vulnerable until this healing occurs. And you do it. You do it. I felt it before these cards even came out that you opened up to this person with emotional vulnerability. And that's where that strength comes in. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here. The Four of Pentacles. You've been holding, you held back for so long. Oh, this is so funny. Because the Four of Pentacles, remember, was in your psychology. And it was clarified by the Seven of Cups. So now we have the Five of Cups. Yeah. You, this is why the strength. It's like the strength is in the center. Because I'm like, why is it in the center? Now I understand. Because it's really clarifying this whole section here. You need the strength to open up. In order to open up, because remember, you were closed off before, and let this energy flow, you really need to trust. You really need to be open to this person and trust that you're not going to get hurt and trust in the power of your relationship, right? So you're trying to get through the emotions of this center um, 
relationship from the past. And this could be, remember, this doesn't mean that this happened yesterday. This doesn't mean that it happened last month. This could be just lingering energy from some time in the past and it's just now coming up and you're dealing with it, right? I feel it is happening now or happened recently. So give me, um, do you want to, okay, they said no. Okay, well, they said no, so, because I, I wanted to clarify again, but they said no, move on. So as we come to the last trinity here, Scorpio, this is actually your past life karma, why this is all happening. So, and this doesn't pop up for everybody, which is why I love this spread. It's different every time. This is a spread I use for my personal readings for FYI too. So we have the five of swords in the center, the four of swords to the right, and the hierophant to the left, Taurus energy. So you've got air and earth here. I feel that in a past life, you committed to somebody where you never could find peace in that relationship. So there was constant bickering, constant fighting. And I feel that you ended up lying to this person a lot because you weren't happy. You weren't, you wanted some sort of spiritual connection with this individual and it didn't happen. So you tried to find that spiritual connection within on your own and it was just a constant battle um, between you and this individual, constant fighting, and you were never able to release yourself from this relationship, and this is what you're doing now. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Whoa. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Constant fighting over your heart and what you needed. What you needed. Like I said, in the center, it was like, I don't want to say the love wasn't reciprocated, but there was just something missing. And you knew that. So this is why the fighting. Because even if you can't pinpoint what it is that's missing, it, one, annoys you. Here's the hair font again. Commitment. And two, it comes out in a different way. It has to be expressed in a different way. So in this case it comes out in fighting. It could have been a Taurus that you were with in this past lifetime, which is interesting because the Taurus and Libra come up here with the Empress. So tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, Six of Swords. Look at this. You're repeating the same cycle, but you're ending it differently. You find your peace. Remember, in the center, you had the Four of Swords clarifying the Empress. Now you have the Six of Swords clarifying the Four of Swords. And you have the Six of Swords in the center. So tell me about this hair font. Why did you stay... No. Why did you stay married and committed? Why? Hmm. Okay. So there was a lot of sexual passion between you. A sexual... It was a very sexual union. But you wanted more. You wanted more. And uh, I feel that this is coming from a time where you may have been sort of betrothed to this person I'm hearing. With this Knight of Swords. That's what I'm getting with the Knight of Swords. Yeah. I feel like you wanted to turn your back on this person, but you couldn't you couldn't so i feel like here you were waiting for your knight in shining armor to arrive that's what i'm feeling and they never did because you didn't empower yourself and take it upon yourself to leave this situation right so what were you fighting about i'm curious here Ooh, this person was spying on you they had a lot of tabs that they were keeping on you. And this was the main reason for the fighting. You were angry because you didn't, you didn't have freedom. And this is what you're doing here. You're breaking free into freedom for expansion. And you couldn't do that here. They knew your every move. Wow. 
So advice for Scorpios. Advice for Scorpios, please. Advice for Scorpios. Seven of Swords. Don't run away from mm, things that you need to face here. This healing. Don't leave it undone. Okay? And again, we have Libra here. So it could be healing over a Libra. Don't run away from healing this. You need to, you need to cut this free. You need to break free from this. Knight of Cups. And this will open your heart up. Okay? So open your heart. Okay? And, and break free from the hurts that you felt within this relationship. Okay? You really have to look within. Pay attention to your dreams, Scorpio. Dreams are huge for you. Yeah. Now you're on the right path. You're, it's like karma is balanced and you're on destiny's path now. Okay. All right. So let's get some crystal liquid crystal Oracle deck here. I'm just going to pull three cards and see which crystals will serve you most regarding this is spread here. Okay. One more card. Which crystals will serve Scorpio the most? We have Blue Lace Agate. This is Calm Expression. Amazonite, The Middle Road. And Kunzite, Heart Activation. Absolutely. And now let's get, now look these crystals up to check out their meanings, right? But you've got the heart chakra energy here because you've got pink and green and also the crown in the throat. So speak your truth, I just heard. Speak your truth to both the person that you're leaving and the person that you're going to. Advice for you. Trust your own understanding. Absolutely. You have to embrace this change. This is also number five, right? With the 32. I love these cards. Trust your own understanding, Scorpio. Let go of control here. They're saying with this card. And trust that your guides, your higher self, your angels are lining everything up with you. All you have to do is keep your energy vibration high. Okay? So do things that uplift you. Do things that make you happy, that excite you. Don't let other energies bring you down. Okay? You want to stay away from that energy um, type there. Okay, one more card for advice for Scorpio. Heighten your vitality. Yeah, that's keeping your energy up. 49. That's a four that all ha that has to do with foundation. Keep recharging yourself. Get out into nature. Okay? The rainbow may be important to you, I'm getting, with these colors here, they just said. You may see a rainbow. And if you see a rainbow, Scorpio, soon, then that is a promise from your angels that everything will fall into place. Okay, so trust it. All right, Scorpio, I hope this helped. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The info is in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys. You have yourself a great weekend and a great month. Join me every day uh, for the daily reads. I do every sign separately. You have yourself a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.